Hello and welcome to this demo. Um, in this demo, we're going to see how to set up and get started with Docker. So I have a Linux host, a Debian-based uh, Linux operating system, and uh, I'm going to uh, install Docker on this. So for that, I'm first going to go to the Docker uh, website. So I'm going to go into uh, docs.docker.com. This website provides uh, detailed um, descriptions and instructions on uh, various concepts and topics in Docker. The first uh, tab here on the left is uh, get Docker. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so in here we have instructions on installing Docker uh, for various uh, versions. So there are primarily two versions of Docker. Um, one is the uh, community edition and the other is the enterprise edition. So the community edition is the uh, free um, uh, edition, which is available for developers and small teams. And enterprise edition is designed for enterprise development. Um, so we're going to go with community edition. Um, this is the best option for a starter um, who's trying to learn and get started with Docker. So I'm going to select community edition here on the left. And as you can see, there are various options for installing Docker on Mac, Windows, Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, Fedora, and, and uh, installation with other binaries. So I'm going to go ahead with Debian because that's my operating system. So I'm going to select Debian. And if you look at the instructions here, um, it's Docker uh, is supported on these three versions, uh, Strat, Stretch, uh, Jesse, and Wheezy. So if you'd like to find out what version of uh, Debian you're running, I'm just going to run this cat slash etc slash star release star command. And this gives me the version of the operating system. So I'm currently using Debian and it's the Jesse version. So I'm going to follow instructions for installing Docker on the Debian Jesse version. So if you look here, the first step is to uninstall all versions if I have Docker already. So I'm just going to check if I have uh, Docker already installed. Um, I don't. So as you can see, command not found. That indicates that I don't have Docker installed currently. So I can skip that step. Um, there's an extra step needed for Wheezy, but I'm not using that particular version. So I'm going to go ahead with this. Um, so there are different ways to uh, install Docker, and I'm going to use the first one, which is installation, installation using the repository. So uh, the first step is to update, uh, run the apt get update command to update uh, the apt package index. Okay, so that's complete. Um, so I'm now going to, I'm going to run the next uh, step, which is installation of some of the uh, dependent packages. So I'm going to copy that and run that. Select yes. And I'll wait for that to complete. Okay, and then the third step um, is to um, add Docker's official GPG key. So I'm going to copy this command, run that. I don't have to sudo, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so that's uh, successful. And I'm going to verify that the key ID is this test, so uh, I'm going to run this command. And if you look at Docker here, get the key fingerprint. And if you were to compare it, you can see that it's the same. So we're good there. The key is the same. And then the next step is to 
uh, add a stable a repository, a stable Docker repository. So I'm just going to copy this command. It's called add apt repository. And run that. Okay, so that's complete. Um, and then the next step is to install Docker CE. So I'm going to run the apt get update to update the list of the, the package index. because I just added a new repository. And then the command to install Docker is apt get install docker-ce. Select yes. Okay, so that's done. I'm just going to clear the screen and I should now be all set. So if I done run the Docker command, I can now see uh, the help message displaying. So this is this is a good sign that Docker is installed. Um, if you go back to the documentation, it gives you, I'm just going to skip this and the, on step four, it gives you the instruction to verify Docker. So if you do the Docker run hello world command, um, it should run, it should pull down the hello world um, container and print you a hello world message. So, so there you go. It says uh, hello from Docker. This mes message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And you have instructions here on how to start a Docker run, uh, container with Ubuntu. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to run that command, which is docker run dash it Ubuntu um, and bash. We'll look a more in, uh, more into uh, the run commands later. But this is just this just shows how um, to pull uh, an Ubuntu Docker image and uh, run some test commands um, to see how Docker works. Okay, so the uh, the new Docker Ubuntu image was downloaded and it's run. So currently, I'm actually, if you look at the prompt, earlier it was root at Docker, now it's root at uh, uh, an ID. So this is the container ID. Um, so if I were to clear the screen, um, now I'm actually inside the Ubuntu uh, Docker image. So if I do a cat etc star release star, I can see the, this operating system that I'm currently in is Ubuntu and what the version of Ubuntu. So um, if I were to exit from this container, I'm back in the Docker host. And uh, if you run the same command here, you see that this is the Debian host. So we were earlier in the Ubuntu host uh, Docker container. We're now outside on the Docker host, which is Debian. So that's a, a short, quick demo on uh, how to install Docker on a Linux host and get started. Uh, there are other instructions available on the site to install Docker on other platforms um, such as Mac and Windows. So feel free to uh, explore these options. Thank you very much.